Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with another microphone review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Apogee Mic 96K for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. If you are interested in this mic, it'll set you back around 230 bucks. And also there is a version of this microphone that is compatible with Windows. For the majority of this video, I've connected the mic directly to my Mac. I'm not sure about the gain percentage I'm using, but I will do no post processing to the audio, but I may boost it in post. So make sure to check the doobly-doo for more information. Now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box. Obviously you're going to get the microphone. You get a desktop tripod stand. You get a microphone stand mount. You get a USB cable. You get a lightning cable and you get some documentation. As far as the build quality, this mic just feels absolutely amazing. It has an all metal body and an all metal grill and it has some really nice weight to it. On the front of the mic, you'll find a multicolor LED, which allows you to see the input level and device status. On the side of the microphone, you will find a gain control knob. And on the bottom of the microphone, you'll find the connection port. As far as specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a bit depth of 24 bit, a sampling rate of 96 kilohertz, and that's legitimately all the information I could find about this microphone. I checked their website, Amazon, I even contacted their tech support, and there's just nothing out there. Now I'm spinning around the microphone to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm banging on a mechanical keyboard with MX Cherry Blues directly behind the microphone to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and four feet away from the microphone. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop the gain to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of noise is generated by this microphone's preamp. Now I have the mic connected directly to my iPad using the lightning cable and I am recording into the Shure app because I didn't want to have to download GarageBand and this is what the microphone sounds like. <laughs> This mic better sound real good Cause it costs so much It costs so much So overall I think it's a really nice microphone But I wasn't as blown away as I should have been Considering the $230 price tag on the pro side, it has a really nice preamp. It's compatible with your iPad as well as your Mac. It's insanely portable and it's also really well built. In terms of cons, it doesn't have a headphone port for latency free monitoring. I think you'll definitely need an additional windscreen or pop filter. And it personally, I just wasn't a big fan of the tone of the microphone. Now that last con is completely subjective. So if you are a fan of the tone of this microphone, then by all means, go ahead and pick it up. So I'm only going to recommend this to professional musicians or podcasters who do a lot of traveling and need to have high quality audio recorded directly to their tablet. I imagine if you were to drop the audio from this mic directly into a nice iPad DAW like Aria, you could probably get some amazing tones out of it. But for people who are just looking for a microphone to record in their home studio with, I'm going to tell you to look somewhere else. Alright guys, well I guess that'll do it for today. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything in the description down below. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.